Why can't every number be as easy to multiply by as 10? If we're doing 10 times seven, seven gets a sweet little promotion up a place value and a zero comes in to fill the vacancy. I know we're not supposed to think about it as stick a zero on the end, but we all know that's what we're really doing when we multiply a whole number by 10, sticking a zero on the end. We can do it all day long. But at some point we have to multiply by 12 and we look at it the way our parents looked at us when cousin Jane got into medical school. Why can't you be more like Cousin Jane. Well, I've got some good news for you. Multiplying by 12 can be more like multiplying by 10 because 12 lots of something is exactly the same as 10 lots plus two lots. If we're doing 12 times three, that's the same as 10 times three plus two times three. Look at that, everyone's favorite times table swooping in to make our lives easier. 10 times three is 30 and two times three is six. So 12 times three must be 36. We can even rope in our fingers to help. We hold up three fingers and count up in tens, 10, 20, 30. Then we keep counting up, but in twos, 32, 34, 36. Let's see another one. If we've got 12 times four, we can hold up four fingers and count up in tens, 10, 20, 30, 40, then keep counting, but in twos, 42, 44, 46, 48. 12 times four is 48. Techniques like this can really take the tedium out of learning the times tables. And we've got loads more where that came from in our fantastic times tables bookmarks. Each one features the full table on one side and a fun trick on the other. Find them on our website at summersofanarchy.com or comment mathemagic below for a link to purchase. We may not become a doctor like Cousin Jane, but at least we can be mathemagicians.